Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dom and today we are checking out the Samsung Galaxy Tab Pro 8.4. This is Samsung's answer to the iPad mini with retina display and if you'd like to see the two compared in a future video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. I really do like the design of this tablet. It feels nice in the hand, it's got good weight to it and it sports that same fake leather design on the backside as we first saw on the Galaxy Note 3 but overall this is a pretty solid tablet and as as you can see it's a very thin one as well. So let's go ahead and get started here. We will boot up the device. Now the Pro Series tablets from Samsung are the first to feature its brand new magazine UX. Now that is actually an additional home screen or two and if you swipe over as you can see here we have this flipboard powered interface and we also do have the professional section right here but magazine UX will load in stories for you based on your interests and if you'd like to read one all you have to do is tap on the story and it will open up this nice little reader interface and you can swipe swipe between pages as you're seeing me do right here. But we will get more in depth with Magazine UX in my full review of the Samsung Galaxy Tab Pro 8.4 in the future. So be sure to subscribe if you're not already. Taking a look at the device itself, as you can see down here at the bottom, we have our soft key buttons. And then in the center there, we do have our home button. Now moving along to the top side of the front, we have our two megapixel front facing camera, our light sensor. And then right in the center there, we have the Samsung logo, as you can see. Moving along to the back side of the device, we have our 8 megapixel rear camera and an LED flash. And then on the bottom, we have stereo speakers and we also do have our micro USB charging port in the middle of the two. On one side of the device, we have our micro SD card slot that will allow you to expand the internal storage of this device. So all you have to do is pop open that little hatch and stick in your micro SD card. And on the other side of the device, we have our lock button, our volume rocker, and an infrared blaster, which you can use to control your TV and other things through the Samsung Watch On app. And last but not least, we do have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the top of the device. So before we get out of here, we are going to be running Geekbench 3 on the Tab Pro 8.4. So let's go ahead and load it up and get the benchmark running. Now I was actually surprised, this is a rather fast tablet coming in with a single core score of 904 and a multi-core score of 2837. Now keep in mind, this is running a 2.3 gigahertz quad-core Snapdragon 8 100 processor with two gigabytes of RAM. This happens to be my personal favorite out of all of the Pro Series tablets that Samsung has to offer simply because it rocks the same 2560 by 1600 resolution as found on the bigger tablets, but it's packing 359 pixels per inch. But let me know what you think about the Samsung Galaxy Tab Pro down in the comment section below and be sure to leave a thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed it. Thanks again for watching everybody. This is Dom and have a great day.